Lafari and Anasiki. And going to be just about a good matchup this afternoon, Ramel Brown against David Lowry. Brian O'Connell set to throw the ball up in the air. The game is underway in the opening tip controlled by the Manhattan Jaspers, who go from right to left. It is Storrs, cross the midcourt line with a pass to Andahar. Return to Storrs wearing those bright green shoes. Now a three-pointer from the wing, no good by Koita. And the ball deflected out of bounds, and it will be off Manhattan. So Iona will get the ball in. Uh, to 16 seconds into the game. Well, Lowry's not as good as Glover on that jump ball, is he? He keeps losing. Glover last year would never lose a jump ball. That's right. Glover had a remarkable streak on the opening tip-off. Now, Sledge gives to Ridley from the right wing. 12-footer good. Swish. Has Ridley left alone. And Iona with the opening basket of the game. Yeah, Ridley deadly from eight feet. Pressure in the backcourt. Andahar goes to Koida. Faked the three and then faked himself out and gets called by traveling by Michael Kitts. So the ball goes right back to the Gales. That's faster than I think Manhattan wants to travel. They want to be more patient on the offensive end, make three or four or five passes, and then go for the shot. Hey, if they want to run, I'm sure Iona would not mind. Here's Tavon Sledge, back of the arc, goes to Armand, loop down low to Lowry, double team, able to find Ridley again, attacks that right baseline, but can't go all the way. On the angle, Sean Amon, Gales reset the offense, 13 on the clock. Here's Tavon Sledge faking left, going right, driving, gives to Ridley, jumper on the way, good. It's a three-pointer by Taj Ridley, his first of the season. Oh, Ridley really improving his shooting lately. Again, wide open, right baseline. 5-0 Iona. So Taj Ridley normally does not even attempt three-pointers. Now Storas along the left sideline, watched by the combination of Armand and Sledge. Here's Anne Dehar, Anne Dehar to Koita along the right wing to McCoy. Bounce pass underneath. Brown shot partially blocked by David Lowry. Battle for the rebound, Ridley and Brown tie each other up. And the alternate arrow will give it to Iona. So a good start for the Gales. Yeah, very aggressive on the defensive end on the rebounds. That's what Tim Clues wants to see with Ramel Brown in there for Manhattan. You've got to be strong on the defensive glass and get up on it or Brown can dominate inside. Iona off to a 5-0 lead, 18-20 to go, first half, as Sledge will bring up for Iona. Sledge goes cross court, intended for Armand, but it's stolen by Ramel Brown all the way home for the dunk off the Iona turnover. So Brown, very quick, we need the passing lanes. Now quickly, Momo Jones goes to Armand, up for three. It is good, Sean Armand. With a quick release, Gary, whoa, did he get rid of that thing in a hurry? Did uh, almost hit the ceiling. Now McCoy with it along the left for Manhattan, loop back in the middle to Stores. Eight to two in favor of Iona, just over two minutes gone by first half. Stores picked by Brown, ends up right elbow, and Dahar in the middle. And a whistle underneath the basket away from the ball and a foul, a holding call against Iona. I think it's on Lowry. David Lowry didn't see what he did. Sean Amon giving him a pat. Lowry upset, but that's an early foul on the Iona big guy. Not a good thing for the Gales. They got to keep Lowry out of foul trouble and play Brown. 8-2, McCoy will inbound. Goes to Ramel Brown along the right. Now up top to Coita. And now in the middle to Storrs. Quick glance back at Steve Massiello on the Manhattan bench. Here's Storrs, loops pass to Brown. Now up top, Andahar fakes a foul on jumper, goes to Storrs for three, no good from the left wing, and Lowry picks up the rebound for Iona. Here's Momo Jones playing with a very badly bruised back. Here's Ridley, almost launched another three. Back to Momo instead. Momo fends off Storrs, penetrates, hit the underside of the rim, though, with the shot, and the rebound by Andahar. We run the other way. Andahar behind his back, eluding Armand, on the wing to Storrs at the free throw line. One more pass to Brown, and then he gets called for traveling, and that's the second Manhattan travel of the afternoon. An excellent transition defense by the Gales, getting back and eliminating that fast break attempt by Manhattan. Three minutes in now, it is 8-2 in the early going. Iona over Manhattan, first of two meetings. They'll play at the Dratty Gymnasium on the 15th of February as Ridley goes in the middle, Momo Jones. Momo holds it down low, gives to a cutting arm on, left of the key, shoots over, stores from three, in and out, and Andahar able to grab the rebound for the Jaspers. And now Rashawn Storrs brings it up along the left sideline. Storrs up top for Mel Brown, puts it on the floor, now finds McCoy. Back of the arc on the Manhattan weave, 18 on the clock. And they're playing some half-court offense here, trying to slow down the tempo. Storrs, Andahar, high post Brown, left side Coyta, three, good. Well, Coyta, as we said, is shooting very well from downtown, about 60% for the year from three-point range. And that cuts Iona's lead down to three at eight to five. About to hit the 16-minute mark. Momo Jones with the ball, top of the arc for Iona. He's being watched by Coita. 
Momo now flips in the hands of Tavon Sledge. Pick waiting from Lowry, they don't use it. They go left of the key to Ridley with five early points. Tash top of the arc at the free throw line, shoots left elbow, that'll be barely short. Rebound off the hands of Lowry and out of bounds. Give it to Manhattan when we come back. We have our first media timeout of the game. We're down to 15.44 to go. It's I Gales are kind of feeling their way offensively in this half-court set as Manhattan has denied the Gales any fast-break opportunity to this point. First change of the game, Shane Richard, 6'5", freshman in the game, beginning to play more and played better lately, had a career-high 16 points. Now a change for Iona as well, Trey Bowman with it. Andahar underneath Ramel Brown, eludes Lowry, and dunks it home for his second dunk. And now Manhattan on a 5-0 run. It's a one-point Iona lead. Yeah, Brown got right behind Lowry. Lowry lost it. 8-7, Momo Jones with it for Iona. Finds Sledge, deep left corner. Sledge back up top, Momo. Three from a little bit of an angle, no good. Rebound taken off by Koida. And the Jaspers have a chance to take a lead as A.J. English comes to the scorer's table, about to check in for Iona. It's Andahar along the right in the middle. Stores against Iona's 2-3 zone. Koita, roll down low, Andahar on the right lane, spins and gets it to fall. And now it's a 7-0 run and the Jaspers with the lead. Yeah, the easy shots on the inside. Gales have to tighten the defense on the interior. Tavon Sledge with it back of the free throw line, tried to loop to Lowry, knocked away. Lowry able to recover, return to Sledge, drives the baseline, put it up in, and a foul. Tavon Sledge got bumped. Nice setup by Lowry. Iona back by one. At 10-9, and a foul as well by Andahar. You know, Lowry gives you that really extra benefit. With, at 6'8", he's a good passer, and he can look down over the defense, and that's a big advantage. That time, a little give and go between Sledge and Lowry. Sledge, free throw, good. And now Sledge comes out of the game and replaced by the Iona freshman, A.J. English. 11-9 Gales, a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. It is Stores. He'll work on English up across midcourt to Andahar and then back to Stores. Stores along the right sideline. Again, Iona in that 2-3 zone. Stores in the middle. Flip left side, Richards back to Stores up top. Andahar left side, Richards fires three. No good. Rebound on the run by Trey Bowman. Bowman did a good job. Scored the winning basket coming off the bench at Siena. Momo goes to English. Back to Momo in the middle. Fires on the right side. English again. Standing three. No good. Rebound over the head of Bowman. And here's Andahar for the Jaspers. Fires left side, Richards. Ball fake, advances to the free throw line, goes to Koita, right baseline drive, partially blocked by Lowry, but it's picked up by Ramel Brown for his third dunk of the afternoon. Hey, what a power move from Brown for the weak side on the left side. He's creating problems underneath for the Gales on the offensive end. So we're even at 11 again. Momo Jones, right side of the key, cuts to the middle, and then gets called for traveling. Momo faked himself a little bit. And now we've got Gomez coming in the game, replacing Sean Armand, getting a little bit of a lecture from Tim Cluse about losing somebody defensively. Yeah, well, the Gales, Cluse has gone quickly to the bench. He's not happy putting in three subs this early. And Roberto Colonnette replacing Brown for the time being with six points. Well, Colonnette uh, lacks a good ball control of last year, but he blocks shots, big guy in the middle. Now Coida in big trouble, double teamed, able to get it to Colonnette, but then Colonnette throws it away. Intended for Andahar in that right corner, and it goes out of bounds. Well, he we said he lacked good ball control. You saw it there, Colinet, with a terrible unforced pass. Now, quickly off the bench, C.J. Jones replacing Koita. Koita leaves with a three-point shot, the only one for Manhattan. 11-11, 13-20 to go, as Deshaun Gomez brings up for Iona. Gomez into the forecourt on the left side. He's got Momo Jones on the left. Momo wants the ball, but Gomez goes to Lowry instead. Working on Colinet at the free throw line. Open right side, English penetrates the lane off the glass. No, and it got stuck between the rim and the glass, and the alternate arrow will give it back to the Manhattan Jaspers. Again, a good setup for Lowry, but English couldn't convert the open shot. Iona now from the field after a very hot start, 4-10. A, a little pressure defense here by the Gales for the first time. 
They inbound to Stores. Stores bounce up ahead to Andahar and then return to Stores. Double team, breaks that, goes to Colinette, and finally in the hands of Andahar. Now Stores against Iona's zone, just holding the ball between the circles. Goes on the right to C.J. Jones. Top of the free throw line. Here's Andahar. Andahar underneath gets called for traveling. Isn't that the third time he's been nailed for traveling in this game, Andahar? Gale's trying to put some pressure on because they know without Alvarado when they're handling the ball, Manhattan may have a problem with a backup point guard, uh, Deshaun Stores, who's a sophomore, Rashawn Stores. They're trying to put pressure on him and try to exploit that matchup. Andahar sits down, McCoy back in. Also, Koidu has checked in, replacing Stores. Here's Deshaun Gomez for Iona in this tie ball game, right side of the key. Goes to Momo Jones, driving, put it up with a little baby hook, no good. Rebound comes back to Momo. Second one side rim wouldn't go either, and Kalanick grabbed the rebound for Manhattan. Jones short arm two shots there. Maybe that back's a problem. Here comes C.J. Jones against Iona's zone. Goes to McCoy. Looping pass on the left. Koita, three. Side rim, no. Rebound, Ridley. Fast break, Momo up ahead. Bowman catches, lays it in. So Gales get their first fast break basket of the game, and that's always a good sign Run Manhattan. Gales have retaken the lead again, 13 to 11, just under 12 minutes to play. C.J. Jones along the right sideline for the Jaspers. Double team, great bounce pass, Colinette goes to Coita. Three over Ridley, in and out. Rebound, pulled down by A.J. English. Fast break, Iona, up ahead to Momo Jones. Back to the trailer, Bowman, who dropped the ball, and it went out of bounds. Bowman was about to shoot it, but first you got to catch it. Well, the ball was a little low, though, around his ankles. Not a good pass by Momo Jones. We're about to play it again. I'm on one for three for three points. So when your your big trio, Gary, that you know averages close to 60 points a game, is giving you very little in the first half here. It's tough to find your offense. And just watching Momo Jones stretches back out against the scorer's table on the far side. Manhattan by one with the ball. Stores along the right front of the Iona bench. Sledge guarding him. Now Richards fires a three. Front rim no good. Rebound by Ramel Brown. His shot ended up being a pass and ended up now finally being stolen by Sean Armand. With speed, foul line jumper off the run. No. Tip by Lowry wouldn't go. And Stores gets it back for Manhattan as yep. Iona continues to misfire. Yep. Lit on the basket. Good look by Armand from about 12 feet. 6 of 17 now shooting stores. Andahar, man to man, Richards right corner, three, good. Defense got there late, back to back baskets by Richards. You gotta get on him, he can shoot the ball, he's on a roll lately. Jaspers have opened up a four point lead now, 21 17, under seven to play. Momo Jones goes to Tavon Sledge, right side Armand, three, no, rebound taken off by Koita. And the Jaspers in control after Iona jumped out to an eight to two lead. And it is now 21-17 Manhattan looking for their second straight victory. They just broke their four-game losing streak. Friday night at St. Peter's, they try a give and go, but a Stores pass stolen by Lowry. Lowry brings up, bounce pass up ahead to Sledge, and he gets fouled on the play, tripped up in fact, and helped to his feet by Sean Amon, the foul against Stores, and Sledge will get a couple of free throws. That was a beautiful bounce pass delivered by Lowry while in motion, dribbling up the floor. And hitting the speeding sledge, which is not easy to do. Wonderful pass by Lowry shows his passing skills. And here's her on sledge. One of the Gales who does not shoot all that well for the foul line. Free throw, no good. 50% on the season now for Sledge. And Iona, one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country, amazingly, at 80%. Gales down by four, Sledge second one on the way good. He's got four points, and Iona down by three. 21-18. Emmy Andahar in the backcourt will bring it up against Armand into the forecourt on the left side. Gets a pick from Ramel Brown, sees an opening. Andahar then kicks on the angle to Richards, a pass behind him, but he's able to recover at midcourt and now hands to Storrs. 15 on the clock, Storrs dances left, chased by Sledge, 
picked by Brown again. Stores at the free throw line. Gives to Brown. Dunks it home. A nice hook pass by Stores to Brown. Brown with eight points all on dunks. Now Lowry tries to answer right back. Put it up with the left hand. And finally David Lowry on the board. His first basket. Yeah, with a very compelling mood. Spin move in the lane. 23-20. Jaspers continue to lead. Stores. Backs his way across the midcourt line on Tavon Sledge. Goes to and or rather Richards, left of the key. Further left, the pass goes to Cates, just back in the game. Cates dribbles to the middle, fires to Andahar. Ball fake, down low, Brown. Brown on the left lane, turning on Lowry. Twisting, turning, can't get the shot away. Feeds underneath, and up and in was, I believe, Ramel Brown. We screened out for a moment. Check that, that was Cates who got the basket. Now Momo Jones at the free throw line, gives it away, big tie up there, and it will be still Iona Ball. Well, the difference in this game right now, better passing by Manhattan, they're more patient, they're making more passes, they're getting a little better shots, they, they work hard to get a good shot. Gales right now not working that hard on the offensive end, moving the ball. Gales gotta do a better job of moving the ball and moving without the ball. Iona down by five, largest lead for Manhattan, 25-20, 5.07 to go. Tavon Sledge looking, inbounds goes to Momo Jones, deep in that left corner, pressed there by Brown. Momo drives and gets it to fall, spun around the rim, and went home for the second Momo Jones field goal. Tough drive by Jones to the basket, left to right. And Iona down by three again, 25-22. Now along the left, Sledge playing tough defense on C.J. Jones, advances to the left wing, goes to Brown, just hands the ball to Anderhar. Dances on the left side, Emmy Andahar, penetration then out. C.J. Jones, deep right corner. Now Angle, three on the way, got it. So Jones comes through, the freshman out of Chicago when he hits one. All of a sudden it's a six point lead. Now moment. Regularly, earlier in the season, he was at 90%. And he's at that right now, but the, what the Gales are doing in the last two times, they push the ball after made baskets, try to get down the court and get some easy shots. So I'm gonna try to pick up the tempo as Bowman puts up a rock. So Bowman short on the free throw. One more, as A.J. English back in for the Gales, replacing taking in the offense before they shoot. They're not getting good, uncontested shots. Well, we have no idea what they were looking at, but they stopped looking at it. That's a good thing, I think. And Trey Bowman will get his second free throw. And that one is good. I own it down by five as C.J. Jones will bring up against Momo Jones. Now into the forecourt along the left, Andahar from Manhattan races by Armand, but missed the driving lay-in. Lowry almost tipped it in his own basket, but it didn't go, thank goodness. Now Lowry gets it back. Lowry moving around. Brown with the left hand, rejected by Ramel Brown. And that's what he does so well. Brown. Would not go for the fake and block the shot of David Lowry. Compelling moment between the two big men. Here's Andahar. Now knocked away by Lowry and the steal by A.J. English. Armand to Lowry, lay it in. Nice feed by Armand. Get Lowry, get feed the big fella, get him going, and that's what Armand did. And Iona pulls to within three now, 28-25. And across the midcourt line, Steve Asiello jumping off the Manhattan bench. Takes timeout for the Jaspers with the Jaspers still leading 28-25, but Iona has now. Moves and use a real assortment of moves that he has. And Lowry has those kind of moves to give Brown trouble if he remembers use them. 28-25 play back in. Stores now for the Jaspers. 25 on the shot clock. 2-3 zone Iona. Bowman, Momo Jones, the front man, English. Armand and Lowry, the back. Here's Stores on the right wing. Shot clock at 13. Goes in the middle to Cates. Stores again now. Single numbers. Eight to shoot. Long three-pointer, Richards will be an air ball. Take it off by Momo Jones, Iona down by three. Momo advancing, now penetrates all the way through, blocked by Brown, out of bounds. Boy, he runs the floor so well, too. That's a wonderful play by Brown. So Brown getting back, that's his second block. He blocked Momo, it still will be Ooh. Iona. 
Championship, March 7th through 11th at the Mass Mutual Center. So, welcome back to New Rochelle. It's a tight ball game. Manhattan leads the Gales by 3, 28 to 25, 305 to go here in the first half. Iona has the ball out underneath the basket. Gary has the play-by-play mic. A.J. English behind the micro, uh, behind the microphone, behind the basket. Feeds inside. Lowry spins. Missed it. Follow-up wouldn't go on the second attempt by Lowry. And Brown gets the rebound for Manhattan. Big so fella had the left hand. A couple of put opportunities away. for Lowry. As Storrs brings it across the midcourt line. Goes to Koita just back in the game. Further along the right. Andahar, front of the Iona bench. Up to Brown. Hands it back to Andahar. Now to Storrs. 15 on the shot clock. Dances left. Watched by Bowman. Stores bounce pass in the middle. And Dahar. 10 on the clock. Koita down low. Brown then out. Stores three. No. Rebound. Cates put it up and in. And a foul. Basket counts. And the putback by Donovan Cates. Well, that's a play that you could you're going to give up in a zone defense. When the Gale's playing a 2-3, it's harder to rebound on the defensive boards when you're playing a zone defense because you're not putting a body anybody. And Cates that time was unaccounted for at 6'6", 200 pounds. A guy that is a good leaper, good rebounder. He got the rebound left side and laid it in. Trey Bowman got called for the foul, I believe. No, it's Momo Jones' foul, his first. And the free throw by Cates, good. So the Jaspers have their lead back to six on that big three-point play by Donovan Cates. And the Gale's still searching for offense. Momo Jones brings up nearing the two-minute mark. Momo between the circles. Double high post Ridley Armand. Armand now backs up, goes to English. Back on the angle to Armand. English one more time underneath to Ridley. Put it up. No, he gets knocked down. No foul either way as he collided with Donovan Cates. And a rush shot by Ridley. And here come the Jaspers. Under two minutes to play. They lead by six. Not a particularly good shot. The left side with the right hand. Shot put up the shot by Ridley. Koita bounce pass. Goes on the right side. And Dahar. Loop up top. Brown. Brown's been the big guy in this half. Goes to Storrs. Now quickly to Koita. Along the right sideline. Shot clock at nine. Andahar, bounce pass Brown, runs over Ridley, no call. And they called a blocking foul against Ridley. Michael Kitts making the call. Ridley wanted the charge. It's he that gets called for the foul. Well, and, Brown is, go ahead, Gary, sorry. And only 14 fouls against Iona. Well, Brown is very active because what they do, they put him at the high post, handle the ball. Then he drops down low where he gets the ball in the post to kick it out. Then he goes back out again. He's all over the place playing on the outside and inside. They really move him around and maximize his skill level. And they call it shooting, too. Now Brown, free throw, good. Now Ramel Brown, only a 38% free throw shooter, but makes that one. Yeah, you know you're in trouble when a 38% free throw shooter starts hitting. Biggest lead now, seven, eight, swish on both for Ramel Brown, who's got 10 points, and it's 33-25. At home, Iona undefeated this season, 4-0. Not playing well again this afternoon. Down by eight, minute 23 to go. Momo Jones, back of the arc, tries to draw the foul by Brown. And that time Momo gets away with it. But that's not much of an offensive series there again. I mean, Momo Jones trying to draw a foul when nothing's going right. No ball movement. The Gales again being stymied in terms of moving the ball around, spacing. Good job by Manhattan defensively. They're alternating with a 2-3. They're all using a man-to-man two. And they're doing a good job of keeping the Gales in front of them. Momo Jones, five points, one of one from the line. And he'll get a pair. First one, good. Gales struggling for every point they can get. That's 16 fouls against Manhattan, one on Brown. Jasper's lead by seven, 33-26. Minute 20 to go. As Iona desperately trying to finish the half well. Second one by Momo on the way, good. Got to get another one, too, Gary, because he was fouled beyond the strike for three-point shot. That was a heck of a job by Momo Jones. It was. And he had no intention of shooting the ball. He flung himself at Brown and made get three points out of it. Yeah. Brown and Momo for the third. It is good. So a much-needed three-point play, whether it was legit or not. 33-28, the lead down to five. Pressure for Iona, broken by Koita, and Koita into the forecourt on the right side. We'll try to get it to Storrs. Almost lost it to Momo Jones. Koita having all kind of problems finally now. Storrs to the rescue. 
About to hit the one minute mark. Five point Manhattan lead, 15 on the shot clock. Storrs pushing off on Bowman, no call there. Storrs now with 10 on the clock, dribbling around the left elbow. Again, near steal by Momo. Storrs now with six on the clock, way outside. Drives on Ridley, put it up, no good. Was Brown and the rebound taken off by Ridley. Here comes Iona. Tavon Sledge back in the game, 40 seconds to play. Iona down by five as Armand driving through the lane gets tripped up and fouled. So the Gales try to force some things with one-on-one -on -one stuff now. And Momo Jones flinging the ball up in the air, getting fouled, making three free throws. Aman trying to dribble two, two defenders. He did split them enough to draw the foul. So the Gales, with individual stuff, but you, you want to see him get back to the team move, ball movement, move the ball around, find the open shot. One-on-one -on -one for Armand, the foul against Brown. That's two on him, and the free throw good by Sean Armand. So Iona trying to fight back in the game on free throws. Three by Momo, Armand with one, only his fourth point of the afternoon, and he's got one more to come. The lead down to four, Armand makes it three. Well, the Gales, one of the top free throw shooting teams in the country. Why not get back this way? They slice the deficit to three. Now Brown has to come out of the game with those two fouls. Shane Richards back in, they inbound. Donovan Cates along the right, spins off Armand, dribbles with speed into the forecourt. Iona going for the steal. Open man, Koida for three, good. Took nice. his time, set himself, and hit a second three. 36-30 now, Iona takes time out with 21 seconds to go as Iona will get the last shot. Well, that's what happens when you beat the pressure defense. Koida was standing here on the left side. He could have ordered lunch and uh, on that right now may be able to turn this into like a Siena game where the Gales pressure defense really turned that game around down the stretch. Gales have 20 seconds as Momo Jones brings up 36 to 30 so Iona will be trailing at the half for the second straight game. They won Friday at Siena. Let's see what happens today. Nine seconds to go. Armand along the left. AJ English five seconds. English to Armand. Three on the way. Air ball. No good. Ridley tries Fifty-four, Manhattan fifty. These games all seem to come down to the wire. Iona battle back from ten points down at Siena Friday night and won, trying to battle back here from six down at the half. They were down by seven at one point in this half. Andrahar along the right, man to man. Iona and a whistle away from the ball. It's a big call here. Is this Sledge? Davon Sledge got called for the foul. That's four on him, and he's got to come out of the game. Sean Armand right back in. Sledge, six points, eight assists, has to sit down with four fouls. Yeah, that hurts because he's been the one guy really moving the ball today. It also been a defensive factor. Jasper's inbound. Richards double teamed in the corner. Armand going for the steal. And timeout taken by Manhattan as Steve Masiello knew that his player was in trouble and takes a timeout. Well, that's a good call right there to, to help the Gales uh, in terms of... But they are 2-1 and one in the MAC. Iona 8-6 trying for their third win in a row, which would be their longest streak of the season. Gales also 2-1 and one in MAC conference play. Manhattan ball, 31 on the shot clock, and Storrs back in with three fouls. Now Cates loop along the right sideline. Andahar bounce to Storrs, put it up and in. As going down, trying to draw the charge to no avail was A.J. English. So and it's a two-point game again. And Andahar stepped up here in the second half after a lot of turnovers in the first half. Momo Jones gets a pick from Ridley, penetrates the right baseline, in and out, tough luck. And the rebound by Richards, taken back by Armand, but he too couldn't control. And it's finally out of bounds to Manhattan. So the Gales having trouble getting second chance opportunities, especially in offensive rebounds, Gary. They're just not getting it. Iona leading by two. They have been out-rebounded in the game, 24-18. to 18. 
And even 11 minutes to go in the game. Now Storr has got three to get it across and finds Andahar. Andahar bounce pass for the trailer. Cates charged by Cates. Ran over Ridley. Nice job by Ridley. Ridley set his body. Let Cates come to him right underneath it. In the NBA, that would not have been a charging foul. But in college ball, where there's no halo down there, that's quite right that small, that was called a charge. So the Gales, with their third or fourth charging foul tonight, they picked up on Manhattan. Team foul number six against the Jaspers, so both teams will be in the bonus next foul. Momo Jones between the circles, picked by Ridley. Momo bounce pass through the lane, intended for Ridley, who never did find the ball, so an Iona turnover. Yeah, Ridley didn't break as fast. <laughs> Momo thought he was going to go quicker. Momo smiles at Ridley. Thought Ridley was going to spin and go to the basket a little faster than he did. Ten turnovers against Iona. Manhattan with 15, 10 and a half to play. Iona with a two-point lead. That's it. Two-point lead, Andahar. Stores looking at Masiello on the bench. Stores in the middle. Fires to the right. Richards. Further right. Andahar. Eye on a man, a man. Up top to Brown. Brown looking. Bounce pass. Almost threw that one away. Andahar with 10 on the clock. Backing down Momo Jones. Feeds outside to Stores. Underneath the basket. Andahar missed it. In and out for them. And the rebound Ridley for Iona. Gale still by two. English. Now to Sean Armand at the free throw line. Gives to Ridley, attacks down low. Underhand scoop good by Ridley. With the left hand by Ridley yet. What a move, drive by Ridley. He's and opening up his offensive window. And Iona back by four. Donovan Cates drives to the right wing. Flips back to Andahar, middle to Stores. 2-3 for Iona. Andahar with it. On the right side, Donovan Cates dribbles in the middle. Richards. Richards now hands to Stores. Shot clock at 12. Picked by Andahar. They feed Andahar. Nine on the clock. Cates deep along the left. Only five on the clock. Cates will drive. Three on the clock. Put it up. Good foul. Oh, and he got fouled by English, who seems to have hurt his wrist. Yeah. With the shot clock running down. Big basket. That yeah, Cates put on the floor. Did a nice job. They're very patient on their offensive end, Manhattan. Cates driving left to right. Found an opening. The six foot six inch, 200 pounder who's not been a really good offensive player this year. Averaging six points a game, but only shooting 25% from the field. Comes through with a big bucket for Manhattan. Gomez, Deshaun Gomez in for Iona. A foul on English and the free throw by Kate's good. So Manhattan cuts it down to one again. Here's Deshaun Gomez for Iona. 56-55, 9-10 to go. Gomez along the right. Lowry on the bench again. Gomez goes cross-court English. Quick three. Good. Boy, he has a beautiful follow-through, Gary. That's, that's why he knocks down that shot. He really lets that hand follow all the way through. Gales back by four. 59-55, under nine minutes to play. As Rashawn Storrs working on Momo. There's it again. Momo went down. A charge on Storrs. That's three identical plays in this half. Storrs knocking over Momo Jones for an offensive foul. Well, that time he used the tailgate. He threw his rump right into Jones' stomach and knocked him down. Very obviously looked like a frustration foul to me as Stokes comes out. Momo with that bruised back. You wonder how he gets it. That, is, right. that is four charges Momo has taken in this half. Three from Stores and one from C.J. Jones. Amazing. Iona by four. Eight and a half to play. Here's English along the right, attacking Brown. Don't want to do that. The ball deflected by Brown, saved by Richards before it went out of bounds. You're right about that. Don't attack Brown. <laughs> so another block by Brown. Now C.J. Jones along the left, picked by Brown. Little pull-up blocked by English out of bounds. Nice recovery by English. Came off on the left side of the shooter. Never saw him knock the ball away. That's a second block for Brown, or rather uh, English today. Dale's much more aggressive defensively here in the second half. Richards inbounds to Ramel Brown on the left wing. Will dribble up top, and knocked away by a very active A.J. English, but it's still Manhattan ball. But the shot clock rolls on. That's what you do. You keep disrupting them. Make them pull. Shane Richards inbounds to C.J. Jones as Storr is back on the bench with his four fouls all against Momo. Now Momo guarding C.J. Jones. Bounce pass to Cates along the right. Brown passed up an open shot, only five on the clock now. Cates with it, three on the clock, cuts to his right, heaves it up, that'll be no good in an air ball and a shot clock violation. And Iona goes to the timeout, leading 59-55 over Manhattan, 7.51 to go on Icy Gales.
long. Uh, the first half they shot 33%. They're shooting here in the second half 69%. So now they're shooting 47% for the game. Much more Iona style, 8 of 14 from three-point range too. Gales have picked up the offense here in the second half. Gales 6 of 7 from 3 in this half. Gomez still in. Goes to Momo Jones. Pick waiting by Ridley. Momo trying to turn the corner on Brown. Blocked by Brown. Out of bounds. Well, that's for Brown with the number here. Gives him number 5 on the day for blocks. But most of them, again, just go out of bounds. Yep. So Iona still gets it. 21 on the shot clock. Gomez bounce pass. Ridley, no block that time. Ridley goes up for the dunk. Yeah, Jim Ridley just walked in and nobody picked him up. And Iona with a six-point lead now. 61-55. So Manhattan will have to battle back. Andahar, long the left. Koita, Koita, top of the arc. Hates, watched by Bowman. 2-3, Iona. Now a man-a-man. -man. Here's C.J. Jones dribbling diagonally across the court. Hands to Cates, 13 on the clock. Cates, kickoff, Richards, three, good. Oh, that's Andahar, and then a timeout by Manhattan. Andahar with a three. Well, Andahar, you know, we talked about his struggles in the first half, turning the ball over and fouling. Andahar, they're gonna call it a two. Apparently they had his foot on the line. So it's only a two point goal, and it's a four point Iona lead. 61-57, about to hit the seven-minute mark. Deshaun Gomez will bring up for Iona, guarded by C.J. Jones. Gomez, crossover dribble, sees an opening in the lane, bounce pass up ahead, Ridley gets clobbered to the floor. And what was the call against Iona? A travel on Ridley? Wow, a great bounce pass by Gomez, but Ridley trying to draw the foul, walk with the ball, so a big turnover against Iona. 6.45 to play, four-point game. Donovan Cates now to Jones between the circles. Man-to-man, -man. bounce pass in the high post, Andahar. Left side, it goes to Koita. Cates now, 15 on the clock. Bounce pass on the right, C.J. Jones with 13. Made to work there, runs over Momo, and they call the blocking foul on Momo, who can't believe it. How many times are you gonna go to the well, Momo? <laughs> He, was eight fouls. he came late that time, Gary. Eight fouls against Iona, so a one and one for Manhattan. Only the second on Momo Jones. Nice try that time, and he came a little late. Good call by the official. C.J. Jones, freshman, only two of five from the line. Big one and one here with Manhattan trailing by four. Sees very little uh, playing time. He's been a defensive specialist. Averages only one point a game. Jones, free throw, good. Just over the rim. He's got four, and it's a three-point game. David Lowry continues to sit on the Iona bench. Well, Tim Kloos, I think, is not happy with the way Lowry played on both ends of the floor today, offensively and defensively. Second one by Jones, in and out. Ridley, playing much better now, gets the rebound for Iona. Yeah, Gales. Ridley, Ridley's the guy now in, in the inside. Gales by three, Gomez picked by Ridley. Gomez advances to the back of the arc, then bounce pass left, Momo Jones driving in the lane, and he's fouled on the play. The shot was good, but take it away. And Momo will get to the line for a one and one for Iona. Momo looked very good on that, Gary. Driving left to right, he had a quick first step. We talk about the back injury, but he has done an excellent job of playing through that injury tonight. Started a little slowly, especially in the first half. But uh, as that back loosened up and he felt more comfortable and more confident, he has become the ramrod of the Gales offense here in the second half. Iona by three, Momo one and one, looking for his 20th point of the day. Good. And you know, Momo, his history this year has been in the second half, he has his bigger half offensively in terms of scoring, where he really takes over the offense. Tops in the back still, 22.1, 20 points this afternoon. Looking for number 21 and a five point lead. Momo, good from the free throw line. Six of six for Momo Jones. Iona, 63, Manhattan, 58, about to hit the six minute mark. In the backcourt, CJ Jones to Koita. Koita double teamed by English and Gomez, able to get it back to Jones. Man to man, Iona. CJ Jones working on English, gets a pick from Andahar. On the switch, Bowman now takes Jones. Jones with it, hard bank, good. As English went down trying to draw the foul, but CJ Jones makes it a three point Iona lead. Momo for three, good! Deep on the right sideline. And then close out him fast enough, so now Jones with a run of six unanswered, well, six unanswered points for. Him and the Gales, he's got all their points, so they open up a six-point lead. Five and a half minutes to play. Jones almost walked as he slid on the floor. Goes to Andahar up top, guarded by Gomez with the pink sneakers. 
Andahar in the lane. Brown stolen by Momo Jones. Here is English. Lead pass Gomez to the trailer. Momo around and around at home. And it's an eight-point game. That looked like a roulette wheel, didn't it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Roulette wheel and punt went in. Jones has now scored eight in a row for Iona. He scored eight in a row to open up for the half. And eight in a row here. 68-60. Right of the key. Jones. Andahar. Under five minutes to play. Bounce in the lane. Brown blocked by Ridley. And then a foul on either Gomez or Ridley on the follow-up. And Brown will get two. Gomez gets called for the foul. Nine fouls against Iona. The Gales now with an eight-point lead. You're going to get in foul trouble when you play this pressure defense, but it's worth it because it's really thrown Manhattan off keel. They're not getting the easy shots they got the first half. They're disrupting their offense. They're not getting all the smooth passing they had the first half. They've really become very disruptive, Iona, defensively. Brown, free throw, no good. In and out. Remember, he's only a 38% shooter, but he was... Two for two tonight. So Small you, averages so. usually catch up, though, don't they? <laughs> Which means he should miss this one as well. <laughs> we'll see. Still an eight-point Iona lead. Brown with the left hand on the way. Good. Well, he's made three out of four tonight. 15 points for Ramel Brown. Most of them on dunks. Five blocks as well. Now Manhattan may come with a full-court pressure defense. They've got to do something, too, to disrupt the Gales. 68-61, Iona inbounds, Momo Jones fending off Koita. Momo will bring up along the left and into the forecourt. Iona by seven, Momo's been the story in this half, playing with a bad back, he has been spectacular in the second half. 26 points, Momo with the ball, along the left, it goes to Gomez, driving through the lane, penetrates, out, Bowman, three, good! All set up by Gomez on the drive in the lane, the kick in the right corner, and Bowman knocks down his second tray on the night. And Iona with a 10-point lead, their largest, as Donovan Cates spins by Momo Jones. English, they're all going for the steal. They all die for it on the floor, and they call the jump ball, which will give it to Iona. I wish we had an energy meter. Measure the energy of the other team this half compared to the first half. Night and day. <laughs> yeah, right. And it reflects it on the scoreboard. 30 points the first half, 41 here in the second half. They go from being down by six to up by 10. About to hit the four minute mark as well. There's Momo Jones, picked by Ridley. Momo in the middle, loop to Ridley, no good. Intercepted by Koita. And Manhattan gets it back now under four minutes to play. 10 point Iona lead. CJ Jones, back of the arc for the Jaspers. Cuts to his left, picked by Collinette. Foul line jumper, good by CJ Jones. Eight so, point game. Well, Jones is making his presence felt. It's coming out of party here from Manhattan, the freshman. Starting to make shots. Eight points for C.J. Jones. Came in averaging eight points. Now Gomez drives all the way through. Missed it. Rebound by Ridley. Goes up strong. And again, it wouldn't go. Two big misses for Iona. The rebound by Andahar with an eight-point Iona lead. And 3.26 to go. C.J. Jones picked by Collinet. Cuts in the middle. Guarded by English. Big battle underneath between Collinet and Ridley. Now they hand to Andahar. 15 on the shot clock, 3.10 to go in the game. Huge possession here, eight point Iona lead, 10 on the clock, Andahar almost ran over English. Six on the clock now, Jones to Andahar, will drive over Ridley and draws the foul with two on the shot clock. That all set up with the fact that English got knocked down. Had English not been knocked down, I don't think that play would have materialized. We have our final media timeout of the afternoon. Andahar with 13 points, one of one from the line. He'll get a pair. Manhattan in a double bonus anyway. Eight point lead, 2.59 to go. Two big free throws for Emmy Andahar. First one good. Yeah, Manhattan hasn't got to the line all that much in this game, but they have picked up the pace a little bit down the stretch here. 9 of 12 from the line. Iona 13 of 18. Free throw, Andahar, good. So four in a row for the Jaspers after Iona opened up a 10-point lead. 
So it's still very doable for Manhattan. 71-65, 2.50 left. Momo Jones brings up for Iona. Bounce pass goes to Armand. Rough day for Sean. Return to Momo. Man-to-man -man for Manhattan. Pick waiting by Ridley. Ridley battling underneath. Now Brown comes out to attack Momo Jones. Bounce pass by Momo in the lane, and a foul as Ridley gets knocked down. Nice job. Coming up, Momo Jones said something to Armand about the play he wanted to run, and the idea was... Momo Jones to Amon, back to Jones, and then let Jones create something, and he created a situation that drew a foul. Nine and fouls. Put the line. Nine fouls against Manhattan, so Ridley will get a one and one. And now Gomez out, did a good job, replaced by Tavon Sledge, who had been sitting with four fouls. And Ridley has done a very good job here lately of shooting free throws. Let's see, he was very clutch against Siena down the stretch. Big one and one. Woo, bounced around and then fell home. Big make for Ridley. Stopping Manhattan's mini four-point run. The lead back to seven again. Ridley with 12. Taj Ridley, the senior for Iona. 81% free throw shooter. Second one on the way. Nothing but net. So two big free throws for Taj Ridley. The lead at eight again. Two and a half minutes remaining. Storr is also back for Manhattan with four fouls. They fire up to Coita. Now back to Storrs and Iona in a 2-3. Stores along the left in front of the Manhattan bench. Now Iona man a man. Bowman guarding Stores. Picked by Brown. They go to Andahar. Clock at 15. Feed down of Brown. Double teamed low blocks by Jones and Ridley. Outside Stores. Three. No. Battle for the rebound. They dive for it. Manhattan gets it back. Andahar. Turnaround over Ridley. No good. Rebound by Brown. And we had a foul, I think, against Manhattan. Yes. Of yes. Course. Oh, that's a big one. A big, big call. call by Michael Kitts. Whoa. Because Brown went up and got the rebound and scored. They were doing some job. I got to give Manhattan a lot of credit for really battling hard that time and out battling the Gales, but they got a little too physical, didn't they? I think they pushed down Ridley getting for the rebound. Let's see, the call was called against Donovan Cates, his third, 10th on Manhattan. So Ridley right back on the free throw line for two with an eight point lead and 2 0 1 to play. Taz Ridley just made a pair of free throws. 13 points on the afternoon. Free throw, good. He's getting it done like he did against Sienna coming down the stretch when he made four in a row. So the lead back to nine. Coita out of the game for Manhattan. And Shane Richards back in, a three-point shooter. And again, Coita is as well. So Gary, after scoring only 30 points in the first half, the Gales have put up 44 here in the second half. Just like the other night at Siena, yep. Iona had only 24 in the first half and 40 in the second half. Ridley trying to make it a 10-point game once again. And the free throw by Ridley short that time, and the rebound taken off by Andahar. Iona still by nine. Minute 56 to go. Jaspers can't waste much time. Stores along the right sideline. Picked by Brown. Stores at the free throw line. Kick out Andahar. Ball fake. Andahar almost lost it from behind to Armand, but it comes to Cates. Cates with 18 on the clock. Loop underneath, and we had a reach-in foul by Ridley, who tried to jump in front of Ramel Brown. That's going to put Brown on the line for two, which is not really that terrible. No, not the way he shows free throws, but what's happened to Manhattan, they get down by seven or eight points late in the game. They have a very slow, deliberate offense, and it really hurts them. They need to get into their offense quicker and get some shots off. We're much too time being used up trying to get their offense in gear and taking a shot. Much too long. Brown, first free throw on the way. Good. Well, we shouldn't talk about his 38% because it ain't that way today. He is 4-5 of from the line. 16 points for Ramel Brown. Iona by 8. And he's going to get a lot of opportunities, so it behooves him to get better as a free throw shooter. Great game for Brown. Five blocks as well. That free throw no good and rebounded by Armand. So Iona by eight with a minute 35 to go. Gomez back in for ball handling, scampering down that left side, almost lost it, recovered it, and then a timeout taken by the Gales because it was very close to a turnover by Deshaun Gomez. Terrific timeout. And Iona had the timeouts there. They've yep. got three of them left, leading by eight with a minute 29 to go. More game he's played four. If he goes to five, you can't redshirt him. If they decide now to hold him back till next year, the issue is does Beeman want to wait another year and come back? Big decision. 
Anyway, Iona still with the ball. Armand with it. Gale's going to play clock. Leading by eight with a minute 24 to go. It's Momo Jones just holding. They're putting the count on him. Now Momo starts dribbling. 13 on the shot clock. A minute 15 to go in the game. 10 on the clock now. Momo with eight with seven. What's Iona going to do? Here's Gomez with four. Gomez will drive with two. Put it up. Blocked by Brown. Block number six. Here comes Andahar all the way down court for the lay. No good. Follow-up wouldn't go by Brown. Loose ball finally cradled by Gomez, and that should be it for Iona. And a nice block by Ridley on that. And the Jaspers missed two golden opportunities. Now Massiello telling them to go up and foul. And Momo Jones playing keep away. Manhattan can't even foul. Down to 40 seconds in the game, and finally Momo Jones fouled, and he'll get to the line after being fouled by C.J. Jones. Not a good deal to foul the Gales the way they shoot free throws, though. That's, a, you know, you say, okay, foul the, stop the clock, foul. But you're not doing yourself a big favor fouling them unless you've got really good three-point shooters. And Manhattan's three-point shooting in the second half has really cooled off. The Gales' pressure defense has pretty much shut that down. So Iona down by six at the half, down for the second straight game at the half, will rally to win for the third straight game, and they will go to three and one in the MAC Conference. Nine and six overall, Momo Jones, seven of seven now from the free throw line and 27 points. And what do you have at halftime? I'll go look up the number he had. He didn't have many, did he, in the first half? Momo with eight in the first half. Okay. So 19 in the second half. Of course, he's dropped a couple of 40s in his brief Iona career. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just like uh, Scott Machado and uh, names like that, Momo Jones will go down as one of the best Iona players. He is. He's different in some ways. But you can see the obvious talent as he hits another free throw. 28 points for Momo. 20 in the second half. Iona by 10. Only 34 seconds remaining. There's the drive by Donovan Cates for the basket. And then a timeout by Steve Masiello. But Iona still up by 8 with 32 seconds to go. Well, you mentioned that, Gary. What Momo Jones gives you, a lot of players can't deliver. Doing it night after night too. Look at it. look at the consistency of Momo Jones. Yeah, you know, there's no official stat in the box score, but if you take those five charges that he took, those are like five steals. Yep. Giving possession to Iona. So what a game he's had. Momo, as we say, that turns the ball over <laughs> with an eight-point lead and 31 seconds to go. So now Manhattan's going to take a timeout, and they're going to game plan what they want to run here, give it a little bit of an opportunity. Tim Cruz also calls Gomez over. He said he was going to play Gomez more today. Hadn't played that much, but Gomez has been in a lot. Richards will inbound. Gets it to Donovan Cates. 28 seconds to go. Eight-point Iona lead. They need threes. Cates to Richards along the right. Time going down. 20 seconds to go in the game. What's Manhattan doing? They're down by eight. 18 seconds to go. Andahar pushing off Ridley scores, and then a timeout. Taken with 15 seconds to go, but it's still a two-possession game. They took way too much time before that basket. Manhattan will foul, and that's how the game will end. Gomez back in. They got to go for a steal here, Gary. Fouling is not going to do it. They got to steal. Or try to steal. Yeah, they got it. That's the only way to get back. Fowler, you're going to make some steals here. Gomez will inbound. Momo's got the ball. Momo is fouled. They couldn't get it from him. Two more seconds tick off. And Momo right back to the free throw line where he's got a chance to get to the 30-point mark this afternoon. And all with a back that is said is he's got That's his biggest weapon as a coach. You, can, you know, you can yell at players, you can do everything, but if you don't sit him on the bench, they may not listen quite as intently. You put him on the bench and uh, limit their play time, that's when they really listen to you. Momo Jones on the line, free throw, good. Nine for nine from the free throw line. And now it's a three possession game, which should seal it for the Gales. 29 for Momo in the game. Iona leads 77-70 with 13.5 seconds remaining. So Steve Masiello, who got that big win last year, which he bragged about uh, in this building, won't get one tonight. Look for a while like he would as Momo now. 30 points, 10 of 10 from the line. 78-70, 10 seconds to go. Steal for Iona. A.J. English at midcourt will just dribble out the clock. And Momo Jones leading the cheering for Iona as they win their third in a row. In comeback fashion, Gales beat Manhattan 78 to 70. 
So it's all about winning basketball games. Yeah, George Beeman was not here.